Let's go. Anyone who's been in the Air Force for longer than a few months is accustomed to seeing this, a FOD walk. On a Monday morning. These airmen are looking for foreign object damage, little pieces of metal and rock that can cause hundreds of thousands of dollars in damage to a jet engine. But at Guangzhou Air Base, the FOD walk is more crucial than ever. Little pebbles like these, left over from the repainting process, can cause serious problems. In great mass, they would actually foreign object damage a jet engine. In fact, in previous exercises, the pebbles grown in nine F-16s and brought training to a halt. Contractors no longer use the metal beads to strip paint on the flight line, but that doesn't fix the problem at Guangzhou, and that's why today's FOD walk is so critical. It's still going to take a lot of work to ensure that we keep it at a safe level to where planes can't fly in and out of here. And so far, the FOD walks have been working. We haven't had an engine damage yet, so we're just going to keep on pushing. During Max Thunder, dozens of aircraft take off and land on the Guangzhou flight line. By picking up the thousands of metal beats scattered on this nearly two-mile stretch of taxiway, these airmen ensure that both Korean and American aircraft can accomplish the goals of the exercise, saving money and potentially lives in the process. Air Force Sergeant Dylan Bolander, Guangzhou Air Base, Republic of Korea.